Hi, it's Dwyer. DigitalAssetLife.com Always 1776.com Today's February 26, 2021. Let's talk cryptocurrency, but remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, accountability is very important. I earlier did a video here online about the cryptocurrency Cardano. The symbol is ADA. What I want you to do is to look at that video. Look at the date on that video. Pull up the chart of Cardano on your laptop or desktop and see what the price was at the time I made that video. At the time I called Cardano an asymmetrical bet. Well, that bet has delivered. The cryptocurrency is up something like nine or 10 times. In other words, you would have gotten to nine to 10 X had you followed the advice of that earlier video. Well, what I want people to realize, and I make this video uh, right on the cusp of the Mary upgrade launch for Cardano that's going to happen on March 1st, right? What I want people to realize is that the asymmetry still exists. Cardano has huge upside absolutely huge upside. Now first, before I go further, I want people to fully understand my position. I still believe that Bitcoin is the best bet in the cryptoverse. Right? Understand, crypt, um, Bitcoin is a store of value. It's not going to be used as a means of exchange. Just like people don't go around with gold coins in their pocket hoping to buy milk, right? I don't believe people are going to be transacting in Bitcoin anytime soon. So the transaction fees really are irrelevant since most of these Fortune 500 companies that are using cash reserves to buy Bitcoin are really doing so to hedge against the risk of a plunging dollar right volatile and plunging fiat currency so bitcoin has huge first mover status even if someone were to create a commensurate store of value because of bitcoin's established network because of the decade jump bitcoin has had on any such possible competitor, right? Bitcoin is going to win those battles. So I feel that Bitcoin is really your top choice in the crypto sphere. Now, if we're talking about a cryptocurrency as an operating system, right? One that deals in the world of smart contracts, it's going to be awfully hard. It's going to be awfully hard for Ethereum to maintain its current supremacy because other coins, notably Cardano, has native to the coin itself some of the features that Ethereum requires a smart contract for. But there's a bigger reason for you to Look closely at Cardano, because I believe this might be just a start for the coin. And understand, it's already among the biggest market caps in all of crypto. Just go to coinmarketcap.com. What I want people to do is to consider the amount of Cardano today that's being staked. It's a game changer. I want you to become acquainted with stakingrewards.com. Again, it's stakingrewards.com. Let me pivot here as well and say, look, nothing I say in this video should be deemed to be investment advice. 
I'm just telling you what I'm doing, right? What I like, how I'm playing it. The websites that fascinate me. One of them is stakingrewards.com. Now, if the information on that website is accurate, if in fact, while Ethereum 2.0 is staking less than the community, is staking less than 3% of that coin, right? And this is the updated Ethereum. And if the numbers are true, that Cardano today, in terms of staking, is up over 70%. 70% of the coins in circulation, according to this site, are being staked. If those numbers are true, my goodness, the upside on Cardano is simply incredible. Right? An argument can be made that Cardano technologically is superior to Ethereum. Now, if you're going to add to that mix, that Cardano, which has a limited supply, they're talking about it with Ethereum too. Cardano has a limited supply today. If you're going to tell me that of that limited supply, most of the coins are staked, and if the information released by the IOHK team that's responsible for the creation and issuance of Cardano is correct, that Cardano is much more decentralized. Much more decentralized than Ethereum, for example. Then you're looking at an absolute bonanza. Right? I think Cardano is just getting started. I think the crypto era are going to make some people fabulously rich. I think what crypto owners need to consider is where their coins are going to be in three or four years, right? Now, the idea of smart contracts really lifted Ethereum a few years ago, but they don't have a monopoly on that idea, right? The Mary upgrade will give Cardano smart contract capability. Understand, Charles Hoskinson, the head guru at Cardano, as well as Gavin Wood, the head guru at Polkadot, another coin you need to look closely at, in my opinion, right? A coin I'm looking closely at, you do what you want. Uh, they both worked on the Ethereum project with Vitalik Buterin. You're talking about vets who know all about smart contracts. Well, Cardano right now is ahead of everyone else in terms of staking. They're ahead of Ethereum in terms of decentralization. They're going to allow a higher number of transactions per second by a big number over Ethereum 1.0. Right? 2.0 is just being rolled out and isn't at the level of maturation right now. Certainly not in terms of staking or decentralization. That Cardano is. Let me also say, too, that you'll notice that the idea of a cryptocurrency forking is so yesterday. Right now you have situations where things can be done on the chain. Upgrades can take place on the chain. Our understanding of what it took to change a cryptocurrency protocol in 2017 no longer applies. So we're still in the early innings of smart contract platforms. And in terms of positioning, 
Cardano is right there among the best of them. Binance right now is allowing folks to stake Cardano and to receive some ridiculous amount of interest. I believe I read that it was north of 20%. You're going to have to do your own homework on that. I can tell you the Voyager exchange right now allows you to receive 3% rate of return, right, on the Cardano that you keep there for more than a month. Now, let's be clear here. On the Voyager site, you don't even have to click the stake button to get the 3%. All you have to do is maintain a balance. I encourage people to look at that site. I can tell you Cardano's Daedalus wallet gives you more than 4% staking. In other words, Cardano is very conducive for staking. It's not that hard. Now, Binance has a U.S. site called Binance.us. I believe it's just a matter of time before that site allows staking, right? Because the parent site that's not available to Americans is allowing huge staking with Cardano. I imagine that's going to be such a winner that Binance.us, right, which is, you know, a smaller site that's growing up, will likely have Cardano staking as well. Now, in fairness to Ethereum, and let me just point out the obvious here. I'm not anti-Ethereum. I own some Ethereum. Um, one of the places where I own Ethereum Coinbase, according to rumor, is going to allow staking of Ethereum where they're going to pay you 10%. Right? That's excellent. But understand what Coinbase is willing to pay you is less than what Binance is paying holders of Cardano. So keep an eye on the space. I believe... The advantage in the market, the name recognition that Ethereum's had, is going to start to fade over time. Understand, both Polkadot and Cardano are already in the top 10 of all crypto and market cap. Just understand, the amount of Cardano being staked, percentage-wise, in terms of circulating cryptocurrency, far exceeds. Far exceeds. The amount of Ethereum being staked. Again, less than 3% of Ethereum 2.0 is being staked. More than 70% of Cardano is being staked. As I make this video, the coin is up around $1.20 a coin. Right? It's around $1.20, a little bit north of that, a coin. I believe this is just the tip of the iceberg. I could easily see this coin going up another 10x. That's how I see it. Again, please don't construe this as investment advice. I want everyone watching this video to do their own independent research. But that's how I see it. Let me know what you think. I hope you do so in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.